First at 11, the latest on a CBS 4 News health alert, a confirmed outbreak of hepatitis A in Broward County. There are at least seven confirmed cases tonight and counting. This outbreak especially concerning for all of South Florida since it comes not long after a couple in Martin County died after contracting the disease. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live in our newsroom with our top story at 11. Amber. Well, good evening to you both. Yes, doctors say prevention is key when it comes to contracting the hepatitis A virus, making sure to wash your hands every chance you get. But one man says his brother never had a chance because he was misdiagnosed. The fact that my brother was diagnosed with misdiagnosed is troublesome. Martin County couple Jeffrey and Nancy Kirsch died two weeks ago from hepatitis A complications. They were sick, but they thought they had the flu. They were trying to get better. They didn't know they had this. The couple were both 62 years old and seemingly healthy. Their deaths now drawing more attention to the hepatitis A outbreak. Already, dozens of cases have been reported north of Broward County, and the health department says seven cases have been reported in Broward since the start of 2019. The sporadic outbreaks occur in counties or areas, and it could be one restaurant or one person or one household. Even in daycare centers, um, they've been watching this carefully. Hepatitis A is a liver disease caused by a virus usually spread through contaminated food or water. Symptoms include abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, dark urine, yellow skin, and eyes. As soon as I can push out that information, I will. While officials from the health department cannot comment on the Kirsch investigation or the other ongoing cases, they say Martin County is working with regional and state officials to find the source. People need to know what they can do to protect themselves and, you know, good hand washing and hygiene, of course, and getting that vaccination. Doctors say the strongest recommendations for vaccinations are for those who are traveling to endemic areas or those in third world countries. The Kirsch family hopes the health department does its best to find the source. Our family is trying to wrap our head around it and I would hope the health department is putting every resource they have into this right now for the people of the community there. Now, the Department of Health in Broward is providing outreach for people uh, high risk of catching the virus. That includes people using injection or non-injection drugs, are homeless or in temporary housing, who have been recently in jail. In the newsroom.